This is David Whispers, and tonight we are going to be reading about Elon Musk. This was a viewer request from unknown user. Unknown user requested this, as well as my closest friend. Now, in fairness, my closest friend didn't request it, rather suggested it as something I should do because, you see, my closest friend doesn't watch or listen to this channel. So, here we go. Elon Musk. Elon Reeve Musk, born June 28th, 1971 is an entrepreneur and a business magnet. He is the founder, CEO, and chief engineer at SpaceX, early stage investor, CEO, and product architect of Tesla Inc., founder of the Boring Company, and co-founder of Neuralink and OpenAI. A senti billionaire, Musk is the richest person in the world as of November 2021 with a net worth of around $280 billion. Musk was born to a Canadian mother and South African father and raised in Pretoria, South Africa. He briefly attended the University of Pretoria before moving to Canada at age 17 to attend Queen's University. He transferred to the University of Pennsylvania two years later, where he received bachelor's degrees in economics and physics. He moved to California in 1995 to attend Stanford University, but decided instead to pursue a business career, co-founding the web software company Zip2 with brother Kimball. The startup was acquired by Compaq for $307 million in 1999. The same year, Musk co-founded online bank X.com, which merged with Confinity in 2000 to form PayPal. The company was bought by eBay in 2002 for $1.5 billion. In 2002, Musk founded SpaceX, an aerospace manufacturer and space transport services company, of which he is CEO and CTO. In 2004, he joined electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla Motors Inc., now Tesla Inc., as chairman and product architect, becoming its CEO in 2008. In 2002, he helped create Solar City, a solar energy services company that was later acquired by Tesla and became Tesla Energy. In 2015, he co-founded OpenAI, a non-profit research company that promotes friendly artificial intelligence. In 2016, he co-founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology company focused on developing brain-computer interfaces, and found founded the Boring Company, a tunnel construction company. Musk has proposed the Hyperloop, a high-speed vac train transportation system. Musk has been the subject of criticism due to unorthodox or unscientific stances and highly publicized controversies. In 2018, he was sued for defamation by a British caver who advised in the Tam Luong Cave Rescue. A California jury ruled in favor of Musk. In the same year, he was sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, for falsely tweeting that he had secured funding for a private takeover of Tesla. He settled with the SEC, temporarily stepping down from his chairmanship and agreed to limitations on his Twitter usage. Musk has spread misinformation about the COVID-19 pandemic and has received criticism from experts for his other views on such matters as artificial intelligence, cryptocurrency, and public transport. Elon Reeve Musk was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, South Africa. His mother is Mae Musk, a model and dietitian born in Saskatchewan, Canada, but raised in South Africa. His father is Errol Musk, a South African electromechanical engineer, pilot, sailor, consultant, and property developer, who once purchased a stake in a Zambian emerald mine near Lake Tanganyika. Musk has a younger brother, Kimball, born 1972, and a younger sister, Tosca, born 1970.
1874. His maternal grandfather, Joshua Haldeman, was an American-born Canadian, and Musk has British and Pennsylvania Dutch ancestry. The family was wealthy in Elon's youth and owned one of the biggest houses in Pretoria. After his parents divorced in 1980, Musk mostly lived with his father in Pretoria and elsewhere, a choice he made two years after the divorce and subsequently regretted. Musk has become estranged from his father, whom he describes as a terrible human being. Almost every evil thing you could possibly think of, he has done. He has a half-sister and a half-brother on his father's side. Around age 10, Musk developed an interest in computing and video games and acquired a Commodore VIC-20. He learned computer programming using a manual and by age 12 sold the code of a basic-based video game he created called Blastar to PC and Office Technology Magazine for approximately $500. An awkward and introverted child, Musk was bullied throughout his childhood and was once hospitalized after a group of boys threw him down a flight of stairs. He attended Waterkloof House Preparatory School and Bryanston High School before graduating from Pretoria Boys High School. Aware it would be easier to enter the United States from Canada, Musk applied for a Canadian passport through his Canadian-born mother. While awaiting the documentation, he attended the University of Pretoria for five months. This allowed Musk to avoid mandatory service in the South African military. Musk arrived in Canada in June 1989 and lived with a second cousin in Saskatchewan for a year, working odd jobs at a farm and lumber mill. In 1990, Musk entered Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. Two years later, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania. He graduated in 1997 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics and a Bachelor of Arts degree in Physics. In 1994, Musk held two internships in Silicon Valley during the summer at energy storage startup Pinnacle Research Institute, which researched electrolytic ultracapacitors for energy storage, and at the Palo Alto-based startup Rocket Science Games. In 1995, Musk was accepted to a Doctor of Philosophy program in materials science at Stanford University in California. Musk attempted to get a job at Netscape, but never received a response to his inquiries. He dropped out of Stanford after two days, deciding instead to join the internet boom and launch an internet startup. In 1995, Musk, Kimball, and Greg Corey founded web software company Zip2 with funds from angel investors. They housed the venture at a small rented office in Palo Alto. The company developed and marketed an internet city guide for the newspaper publishing industry with maps, directions, and yellow pages. Musk says that before the company became successful, he could not afford an apartment and instead rented an office and slept on the couch and showered at the YMCA and shared one computer with his brother. According to Musk, the website was up during the day and I was coding it at night seven days a week all the time. The Musk brothers obtained contract with the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune and persuaded the board of directors to abandon plans for a merger with City Search. Musk's attempts to become CEO, a position held by its chairman Rich Sorkin, were thwarted by the board. Compaq acquired Zip2 for $307 million in cash in February 1999. Musk received $22 million for his seven percent share. In 1999, Musk co-founded X.com, an online financial services and email payment company. The startup was one of the first federally insured online banks and, within its initial months, over 200,000 customers joined the service. The company's investors saw Musk as inexperienced and had him replaced with Intuit CEO Bill Harris by the end of the year. The following year, X 
Bankstacks.com merged with online bank Confinity to prevent unnecessary competition. Founded by Max Levchin and Peter Thiel, Confinity had its own money transfer service, PayPal, which was more popular than X.com's service. Within the merged company, Musk returned as CEO. Musk's preference for Microsoft software over Linux created a rift in the company and caused Thiel to resign. Due to resulting technological issues and lack of a cohesive business model, the board ousted Musk and replaced him with Thiel in September 2000. Under Thiel, the company focused on the PayPal service and was renamed PayPal in 2001. In 2002, PayPal was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion in stock, of which Musk, the largest shareholder with 11.7%, received over $100 million. In 2017, Musk purchased the domain x.com from PayPal for an undisclosed amount, explaining it has sentimental value. In 2001, Musk became involved with the nonprofit Mars Society. He was inspired by plans to place a growth chamber for plants on Mars and discussed funding the project himself. In October 2001, Musk traveled to Moscow to buy refurbished intercontinental ballistic missiles that could send the greenhouse payloads into space. He met with companies NPO, Lavochkin, and Cosmotros. However, Musk was seen as a novice and was even spat on by one of the Russian chief designers. The group returned to the United States empty-handed. In February 2002, the group returned to Russia to look for three ICBMs. They had another meeting with Cosmotros and were offered one rocket for $8 million, which Musk rejected. Musk instead decided to start a company that could build affordable rockets. With $100 million of his early fortune, Musk founded Space Exploration Technologies Corp, traded as SpaceX in May 2002. As of 2021, he remains the company's CEO and also holds the title of Chief Engineer. After three failed launches, SpaceX succeeded in launching the Falcon 1 in 2002. It was the first private liquid-fueled rocket to reach Earth orbit. Later that year, SpaceX received a $1.6 billion commercial resupply services program contract for 12 flights of its Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station, replacing the space shuttle after its 2011 retirement. In 2012, the Dragon vehicle birthed with the ISS a first for a private enterprise, working towards its goal of reusable rockets in 2015. SpaceX successfully landed the first stage of a Falcon 9. Landings were later achieved on an autonomous spaceport drone ship, an ocean-based recovery platform. In 2018, SpaceX launched the Falcon Heavy. The inaugural mission carried Musk's personal Tesla Roadster as a dummy payload. In 2017, SpaceX unveiled its next-generation launch vehicle and spacecraft system, Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR, later renamed to Starship, which would support all SpaceX launch service provider capabilities. In 2018, SpaceX announced a planned 2023 lunar circumnavigation mission, a private flight called Dear Moon Project. In 2020, SpaceX launched its first crewed flight, the Demo-2, becoming the first private company to place a person into orbit and dock a crewed spacecraft with the ISS. SpaceX began a development of the Starlink constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites in 2015 to provide satellite internet access, with the first two prototype satellites launched in February 2018. A second set of test satellites and the first large deployment of a piece of the constellation occurred in May 2019, when the first 60 operational satellites were launched. The total cost of the decade-long project to design, build, and deploy the constellation is estimated by SpaceX to be about $10 billion. 
Tesla Inc. Originally, Tesla Motors was incorporated in July 2003 by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, who financed the company until the Series A round of funding. Both men played active roles in the company's early development prior to Musk's involvement. Musk led the Series A round of investment in February 2004. He invested $6.5 million, became the majority shareholder, and joined Tesla's board of directors as chairman. Musk took an active role within the company and oversaw Roadster product design, but was not deeply involved in day-to-day -day business operations. Following a series of escalating conflicts in 2007 and the 2008 financial crisis, Eberhard was ousted from the firm. Musk assumed leadership of the company as CEO and product architect in 2008. A 2009 lawsuit settlement with Eberhard designated Musk as a Tesla co-founder, along with Tarpening and two others. As of 2019, Elon Musk is the longest tenured CEO of any automotive manufacturer globally. Tesla first built an electric sports car, the Roadster, in 2008. With sales of about 2,500 vehicles, it was the first serial production all-electric car to use lithium-ion battery cells. Tesla began delivery of its four-door Model S sedan in 2012. A crossover, the Model X was launched in 2015. A mass-market sedan, the Model 3, was released in 2017. As of March 2020, it is the world's best-selling electric car, with more than 500,000 units delivered. A fifth vehicle, the Model Y crossover, was launched in 2020. The Cybertruck, an all-electric pickup, was unveiled in 2019. Under Musk, Tesla has also constructed multiple lithium-ion battery and electric vehicle sub-assembly factories, such as Gigafactory 1 in Nevada and Gigafactory 3 in China. Since its initial public offering in 2010, Tesla stock has risen significantly. It became the most valuable car maker in summer 2020. It entered the S&P 500 later that year. In September 2018, Musk was sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for a tweet claiming funding had been secured for potentially taking Tesla private. The lawsuit claimed that discussions Musk held with foreign investors in July 2018 did not confirm key deal terms, and thus characterized the tweet as false, misleading, and damaging to investors, and sought to bar Musk from serving as CEO of publicly traded companies. Musk called the allegations unjustified and claimed he never compromised his integrity. Two days later, Musk settled with the SEC without admitting or denying the SEC's allegations. As a result, Musk and Tesla were fined $20 million each, and Musk was forced to step down for three years as Tesla chairman, but was able to remain as CEO. Musk has stated in interviews he does not regret the tweet that triggered the SEC investigation. On February 19, 2019, Musk stated in a tweet that Tesla would build half a million cars in 2019. The SEC reacted to Musk's tweet by filing in court, initially asking the court to hold him in contempt for violating the terms of a settlement agreement with such a tweet, which was disputed by Musk. This was eventually settled by a joint agreement between Musk and the SEC, clarifying the previous agreement details. The agreement included a list of topics that Musk would need pre-clearance before tweeting about. In May 2020, a judge prevented a lawsuit from proceeding that claimed a tweet by Musk regarding Tesla's stock price, too high in my opinion, violated the agreement. FOIA released records showed that SEC itself concluded that Musk has subsequently violated the agreement twice by tweeting regarding Tesla's solar roof production volumes and its stock price. Musk provided the initial concept and financial capital for SolarCity, which his cousins Lyndon and Peter Rive co-founded in 2009.
2006. By 2013, Solar City was the second largest provider of solar power systems in the United States. In 2014, Mosca promoted the idea of Solar City building an advanced production facility in Buffalo, New York, triple the size of the largest solar plant in the United States. Construction on the factory started in 2014 and was completed in 2017. It operated as a joint venture with Panasonic until early 2020 when Panasonic departed. Tesla acquired Solar City for over $2 billion in 2016 and merged it with its battery energy storage products division to create Tesla Energy. The announcement of the deal resulted in a more than 10% drop in Tesla's stock price. At the time, Solar City was facing liquidity issues. However, Tesla shareholders were not informed. Consequently, multiple shareholder groups filed a lawsuit against Musk and Tesla's directors, claiming that the purchase of Solar City was done solely to benefit Musk and came at the expense of Tesla and its shareholders. During a June 2019 court deposition, Musk acknowledged that the company reallocated every possible employee from the Solar Division to work on the Model 3 and, according to Musk, as a result, Solar suffered. This had not previously been disclosed to shareholders. Court documents unsealed in 2019 have confirmed that Musk was also aware of the company's liquidity issues. Tesla directors settled the lawsuit in January 2020, leaving Musk the sole remaining defendant. In 2016, Musk co-founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology startup company to integrate the human brain with AI. Neuralink's purpose is to create devices that are embedded in the human brain to facilitate the merging of the brain with machines. The device will also reconcile with the latest improvements in artificial intelligence to stay updated. Such improvements could enhance memory or allow the devices to communicate with software more effectively. At a live demonstration in August 2020, Musk described one of their early devices as a Fitbit in your skull that could soon cure paralysis, deafness, blindness, and other disabilities. Many neuroscientists and publications criticized these claims. MIT Technology Review described them as highly speculative and neuroscience theater. In 2016, Musk founded the Boring Company to construct tunnels. In early 2017, they began discussions with regulatory bodies and initiated construction of a 30-foot wide, 50-foot long, and 15-foot deep test trench on the premises of SpaceX's offices, as it required no permits. A tunnel beneath the Las Vegas Convention Center was completed in early 2021. Local officials have approved further expansions of the tunnel system. As a merchandising and a publicity stunt, the Boring Company sold 2,000 novelty flamethrowers in 2018. The idea was allegedly inspired by the Mel Brooks-directed film Spaceballs from 1987. Musk's managerial style and treatment of his employees have been heavily criticized. One person who worked closely with Musk said he exhibits a high level of degenerate behavior, such as paranoia and bullying. Another described him as exhibiting total and complete pathological sociopathy. Business Insider reported that Tesla employees were told not to walk past Musk's desk because of his wild firing rampages. The Wall Street Journal reported that after Musk insisted on brandishing his vehicles as self-driving, he faced criticism from his engineers, some of whom resigned in response, with one stating that Musk's reckless decision-making had potentially put customers' lives at risk. The 2021 book Power Play contains multiple anecdotes of Musk berating employees. In 2013, Musk announced plans for a version of a VAC train, assigning a dozen engineers from Tesla and SpaceX to establish the consistent 
conceptual foundations and create initial designs. On August 12, 2013, Musk unveiled the concept which he dubbed the Hyperloop. The alpha design for the system was published in a white paper posted to the Tesla and SpaceX blogs. The document scoped out the technology and outlined a notional route where such a transport system could be built between the greater Los Angeles area and the San Francisco Bay area at an estimated total cost of $6 billion. The proposal, if technologically feasible at the costs he has cited, would make Hyperloop travel cheaper than any other mode of transport for such long distances. In June 2015, Musk announced a design competition for students and others to build Hyperloop pods to operate on a SpaceX-sponsored mile-long track in a 2015-17 Hyperloop pod competition. The track was used in January 2017, and Musk also announced that the company started a tunnel project with Hawthorne Airport as its destination. In July 2017, Musk claimed that he had received verbal government approval to build a hyperloop from New York City to Washington, D.C., stopping in both Philadelphia and Baltimore. Mention of the project for the D.C. to Baltimore part were removed from the Boring Company website later in 20. In December 2015, Musk announced the creation of OpenAI, a not-for-profit artificial intelligence research company aiming to develop artificial general intelligence intended to be safe and beneficial to humanity. A particular focus of the company is to counteract large corporations and governments who may gain too much power by owning super intelligence systems. In 2018, Musk left the OpenAI board to avoid possible future conflicts with his role as CEO of Tesla, as Tesla increasingly became involved in AI through Tesla Autopilot. In July 2018, Musk arranged for his employees to build a small rescue pod to assist in the rescue of children stuck in a flooded cavern in Thailand. Richard Stanton, leader of the international rescue team, urged Musk in construction of the mini-submarine as a backup in case flooding worsened. Named Wild Boar after the children's soccer team, its design was a 5-foot long, 12-inch wide sealed tube weighing about 90 pounds, propelled manually by divers in the front and back with segmented compartments to place diver weights to adjust buoyancy, intended to solve the problem of safely extracting the children. Engineers at SpaceX and the Boring Company built the mini-submarine out of a Falcon 9 liquid oxygen transfer tube in eight hours and personally delivered it to Thailand. However, by this time, eight of the twelve children had already been rescued using full face masks and oxygen under anesthesia, and Thai authorities declined to use the submarine. Elon was later one of the 187 people who received various honors conferred by the King of Thailand in March 2019 for involvement in the rescue effort. Vernon Unsworth, a British recreational caver who had been exploring the cave for the previous six years and played a key advisory role in the rescue, criticized the submarine on CNN as amounting to nothing more than a public relations effort with no chance of success, and that Musk had no conception of what the cave passage was like and can stick his submarine where it hurts. Musk asserted on Twitter that the device would have worked and referred to Unsworth as blank guy. He subsequently deleted the tweets along with an earlier tweet in which he told another critic of the device, stay tuned, jackass. On July 16th, Unsworth stated that he was considering legal action. Two days later, Musk issued an apology for his remarks. Then, on August 28, 2018, in response to criticism from a writer on Twitter, Musk tweeted, you don't think it's strange he hasn't sued me. The following day, a letter dated August 6th from L. Lynn Wood, the rescuer's attorney, emerged, showing that he had been making preparations for a libel lawsuit. Around this time, James Howard Higgins emailed Musk claiming to be a private investigator and with an offer to dig deep into Unsworth's past, which Musk accepted. 
screenshot of the email saying that off the record is a two-party agreement which he did not agree to. In September, Unsworth filed a defamation lawsuit in Los Angeles federal court. In his defense, Musk argued that in slang usage, blank guy was a common insult used in South Africa when I was growing up, synonymous with creepy old man, and is used to insult a person's appearance and demeanor. The defamation case began in December 2019, with Unsworth seeking $190 million in damages. During the trial, Musk apologized to Unsworth again for the tweet. On December 6th, the jury found in favor of Musk and ruled he was not liable. And I kind of estimate we're at about halfway of this article, which I am thoroughly enjoying, so I am absolutely going to do a part two. I'm going to stop this now. I'm surely assuming everyone is sleeping now if you're intent in watching or listening to these videos is to fall asleep, but for now we are going to assume you can hear me when I tell you we will pick this up tomorrow, starting with his 2018 Joe Rogan podcast appearance, and I'm going to go to sleep. What time is it? Let's see. It is 5.27 a.m. The times I have to record to get these videos out for you people. I compromise my own sleep so that you can get yours. What do you think of that? It's okay. It's worth it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.